Silent Hill. It is an exceptional horror game that lingers around me ever since my older brother stopped playing it on the PS1. Even though I didn't play the game, watching my brother's playthrough makes me scared to sleep, especially as a toddler. But as I grew older, something about the games here was just sad, yet beautiful. It makes me think, why is that? And to figure it out, I wanted to make my own version of the game. With that said, this video is about making a Silent Hill clone, and that game is called Vague. Vague starts as a simple PT prototype. The first person perspective does make a difference as if you are inside the nightmare instead of someone else. At this stage, it is just a walking sim and no game mechanics yet. Scouring through Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4, I begin looking for more mechanics to steal. And most of the time, the mechanics are rather simple to make, from inventory, combat, and interactions. I slowly break them down and recreate them in my game. Same thing about these old games have a strange nostalgic charm to it, and I want to preserve it. Horror games have one of many important cores, and one of them is character and story. For my game, I created three characters, Raymond, Melissa, and Claire. This family will be experiencing an accident at the start of the story, where the main character, which is Raymond, will have to look for the other two. But why a car accident? It's a reference to Silent Hill 1, of course. The Silent Hill is famous for its sound, but making an American town as a non-native and a solo dev will be very hard and time-consuming. So with that, I cut corners and make a small strip of the street for the opening. That leads to a house, the same where Raymond and his family lived in. This house will be act the same way as room 304 in Silent Hill 4, the room. A place for you to save, store items, and relax before entering the nightmarish world. And that concludes part 1. If you have any good ideas to include in this game, just let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to get notified for part 2. You can wishlist the game on Steam or donate to support the development with the links in the description below. Thanks.